What's good with the YouTube? You already know, Big Flacco with the comics perspective. I'm smashing, dashing with a whole lot of energy right now. A little bit of energy. <laughs> yeah, please hit that like, subscribe, comment, man. And if you guys see who my guest is, right? Um, an original OG, man. He's been in the comments, very um advocate about the past, right? And that's uh any soldado that's done time and read the history, you're gonna hear his name. That's Wino Perez from, uh, from San Jose. Um, he was one of the first ones on the front lines when they first started pushing the, the North Day to struggle. He was in San Quentin DVI and went through those struggles that you couldn't understand unless you were there at the time. And so I'm bringing him. He deserves the right to talk about how it was, what he went through, so you, so a lot of North Daniels could understand what this thing is all about. Go ahead, Wino. What's going on, Plow Gray? First of all. Nice to meet you. I, I don't really talk, you know, you, and you know that, and I've explained why, you know, so, you know, first off, never ratted, never debriefed. I was deemed no good for messing around with a Karnaz Ruka that ended up being a rat anyway. We knew this, but got confirmed he had better connections than me, so not going to speak on that. You know, I'm good with that, you know. However they want to deem me, it's good. I know me. At the end of the day, it's all about me, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, I started in DVI, man. I'll tell you what. When I left county jail in 79 and went to the joint, I went with the idea of saying, <laughs> I'm married, got a kid out there, just born, didn't get to see her. She was born while I was in county jail. So my thoughts were to go in there and be neutral, man. Not play the shit. Not yeah. play. I got to I got to Tracy, man. In 1980. I got to Tracy. The first thing that came out of somebody's mouth is, oh, you're from Sanju. You're dead, puto. <laughs> wow. And I said, is that right? Guess I do play it then. Fuck you. I got I got booked there. I got booked there in Tracy. <laughs> First hit of the year, they said, 1982. 1981, excuse me. 1981 got booked. Me and Chow Ha One. What the fuck was his name? Fucking Pesetta later on. Uh, from Fresno. Spanky, Spankio from Fresno. White dude, white dude also, you know, Spunkio from Fresno. He got hit in Chow Hall too with a couple other North Daniels that were in there. While it was set up for my Chow Hall, I was the target. I had already been told, you walk around here like you know, Buto, you're in Tracy, you're in the fucking North, they fuck you. <laughs> that was my thoughts after that comment. I said, fuck you. I'm, I'm a fool anyway, so let's go, you know. So that was my thoughts when they told me that you're the target, Essa. You walk around here like you ain't shit. I said, <laughs> all day long, puto, you're in Tracy. Fuck that. This is my home. You know, that's the way we took it. Well, they caught me. Whew, they caught me. <laughs> they caught me in January, I think the 3rd or 4th of January, 1981, man. Booked the fuck out of me. Left me for dead. Homeboy Mousy from Merced comes to the visiting room. I'm just out of the hospital. They took me to, you know, like the old movies. The MTA and Tracy gives me a cigarette and he said, you smoke, bro? Gives me a cigarette and I said, ah, oh, fuck, I'm gone. <laughs> you know, fuck, I'm gone. Tell him, don't tell my wife unless I die, you know, all that. Mousy from, I think he was from Modesto, Modesto maybe. Yeah. He comes to the visiting room. He said, damn, bro, you're whining with song home? And I said, yeah, bro. He said, I cleaned up the blood that morning. I thought, whoever's blood this is, is dead, man. <laughs> you know, they, they they left me for dead. I mean, they fucked me up. When I woke up, there was still one dude on me. When I turned around, that whole fucking chow hall was filled with motherfuckers still eating because they had so much time to book the shit out of me, you know, and left me for dead. They messed up not killing me. They truly fucking messed up not killing me. 
the reason they hit me is because I was from Songho. At the time, in 7980, Songho was the powerhouse of the NF. So anybody coming from Songho, you're NF. I was 18, motherfuckers. How do you mean I'm NF? There's always only one dude that I know that was NF before he was 18. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was the reason they were hitting bottles from Songho at that time. You had to be NF. You're a threat to us. So that's why I was hit for that reason. For they fucked up is they didn't kill me. Because after that, I became a fucking Emma hater because I know what it was behind. I don't hate Sureños unless they spilled our blood. You know, I got friends that are from the Sur. I got Carnales that are from the Sur. I will never hate Sureños if they've never spilled our blood. It's not in my nature. It's all about the raza. Any and all raza deserving of our cause, period. If you spilt our blood, I don't care where you're from. I got a good homeboy that's a bulldog here. Didn't know. He grew up in it. So when I met him, I said, I don't like bulldogs. <laughs> and he said, oh. I said, I'm just straight out front with you, brother. I don't like bulldogs because I was there the day they killed Rocky and came out their dog houses. You know, it wasn't face to face. It was through the bars. They killed my brother, Jerry Rocky Martin from some killed him to say we're liberated. <laughs> hey, that ain't liberation, brother. That's an act of war with us. And you know, you killed one of Akarnan, you know. The fuck? Why are you taking $40 from me, motherfucker? Okay, <laughs> uh, but, you know, that's where it started with me in, in 80. And then I went to the hole. I got hit in 81. Refused to sign the paper. So I had to sign a paper saying I wouldn't take revenge. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to take revenge. I'll sign that paper. Can I go back to the line? <laughs> I had a I had a boneyard visit coming, man. So I said, yeah, I'm not going to take revenge. <laughs> you know, let me go back to the yeah, line, you know. So when I'm walking back from the hospital, finally get out of the outside hospital, get enough rest. They walk, they're walking me back down the line to H-Wing homes. And I hear all these Sorenios as I'm passing them. That's the bottle we hit. That's the bottle we hit. He's coming back to the line. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know? yeah. And I'm all beat up, homeboy, like, you know, I'm really a threat right now, but I hear their voices like, oh, fuck, you know? Well, yeah, you fucked up, you know? Don't worry about it. I got you, <laughs> you know? So I get to my cell, Holmes. We have about four homeboys, four or five homeboys in there and there. Also, the song who from the west, from the west, no, from the south side of song who, in fact. He looks at me and says, fuck, bro. I said, don't worry, I'm back, homie. Give me a couple of weeks to recuperate. Let me get my boneyard visit in and it's on. <laughs> you know? And he says, I know. He says, as soon as you walked in, I knew what time it was, bro. You know, I said, don't even trip, man. You know, it's on. I hate these motherfuckers. We had a we had a Moscow right inside the motherfucking unit. Big old fat motherfucker sat around with Bob. Sorenos all around them all the fucking time. You know? Tell the viewers why, why they're called Moscos. Because they fly around everywhere, the fucking bitches. Fly, sh eat shit, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's... I've never known the story. I've just, we've just always called them pinche moscos, you know? Like at one time, they called us hamburgers. You know what I'm saying? Where the fuck that came from? I don't know, man. You know, I always kind of laugh like, huh? I'm a hamburger. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You know? <laughs> so I laugh like, you know, the new word is chap, chapete. You know, I know like, where the fuck does that come from, fools? <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know, but it's stupid shit. You know, I mean, it's just stupid shit that the M.A. puts into their head about us. You know, we're just stupid farmers. We're not even fucking Chicanos like them. You know, it's always been. And why I say is, you know, hey, remember, the Nuestra Familia was started with mostly Sureños. Because, and I'll tell you why, a 
if you lived outside Los Angeles County, you were a farmer. You were not looked at as if you were not, if you didn't live in Los Angeles, you weren't MA. So everybody outside of Los Angeles area was considered farmers. I was considered no, period. Outside Los Angeles, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why you got fucking Orange County, fucking Riverside, you know, Carnales that were outside of Los Angeles County, man. You know what I'm saying? That became Carnales that organized that shit and says, fuck them putos, they ain't gonna dictate to us, you know? Fuck them. Yeah. Still holds true, bro. I was there when it all started. I mean, okay, I'll finish my story. I went to the hole, got schooled, bombed the Sureño right in front of God and everybody, you know. So they snatched me up, one of the first ones in 1982, shipped me to San Quentin to C section. Guess what? There's 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 five North Daniel Northerns there going to their yard. So I'm thinking, okay, got an ally, maybe, you know, but I'm not going out thinking like that, you know. I'm in C section, the heart of the air, man. You got you got sporty from Florencia, you got Popeye de San Diego, you got fucking the Cuates there, Wino and Cuate. You got all these motherfuckers there, homes, you know what I'm saying? And Sporty's on my tier and he's the tier tender. Sporty walks up to my sal. He says, you know, we're not going to have none of that sal soldiering here. You know, you got respect. Woo -woo -woo. You know what time it is. You go into the yard. Why no? And I'm saying, yeah. He said, we know all about you. Woo -woo -woo. You know, going to the yard. I said, yeah. They let me out to the yard. I'm going out to the yard, Sporty. You know, period. And he says, all right, man. <laughs> you know, he does one of them to me. He says, then you don't have to trip, you know. Ain't nobody going to fuck with you on the tier, man. It's all about, you know, we know. I said, all right. Cool. So they never fuck with me. Sureño, Sureño tier tender comes out one day, uh, spooky there. I forget where the fuck that goofy motherfucker was from. But he throws a note in my sound and says, give me your TV, just put it out on the tier. I said, puto, get the fuck away from my cell, man. <laughs> and I keep the note and give it to Sporty the next day and he walks down and you just hear him fucking just fucking lecturing this Sureño home saying, stupid motherfucker, you don't ever disrespect that much. Who the fuck do you think? He ain't no fucking peseta, puto. You're going to see. I'm going to send you, puto. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's just lecturing this motherfucker. And I'm saying, get on. The sporty walks over to me and says, hey, the Spence homes. I wasn't, I wasn't authorized, man. Well, they hit him next yard. <laughs> you know, they hit the youngster, the Sureño, next yard homes. They booked him, you know, and I just kind of giggled. And then Sporty walked in. He says, I told you there ain't going to be no disrespect, Holmes. I said, all right, cool. Right on, man. <laughs> you know? Okay, the, I'm there 82. I go out to the yard. I didn't even have time to squat, man. I started squatting. Boom, Popeye came at me. And I just knew Popeye because I seen him as soon as I fucking walk towards i started to walk towards the back to the Norteños, and they just looked at me like oh. <laughs> i said wow <laughs> guess i don't have an ally here you know that's it turned homes and went to and popeye fucking rushed me man they started a fight right at the same time so they shot down at the fucking at the fight right in front by the we used to have uh weights on the yards in c section and d section and all that we had weights so the fight started right there. So they started shooting and Popeye rushed me, man, because instantly, you know, as soon as shit kicked, you looked up to the gun, man. So when I did that, Popeye came and I said, ah, tagged me right in the fucking chest. I hit him about two times and he kind of looked at me like, I just stabbed you in the chest, Puto, what are you fighting for, <laughs> man? And I looked at him, I said, I'll be out next yard, and squatted, you know, they started shooting towards us and so I squatted and the M I guess that was Popeye's bones because the bottle with him said did good I said I watched it you know so you did it where you were supposed to you did it how you were supposed to you know so I guess that was Popeye's bones Popeye de San Diego try to shoot me after that after I went to D section when the Carnales all came <laughs> fucker tried to shoot me too but uh 
after they booked me, they put me in the sound. They said, uh, you want to go to A, a section, Alpine section? I said, no, I'm not a PC, man. He says, we ain't going to let you go to the yard here. I said, doesn't matter. I'm not going to Alpine section, you know. They said, all right, you don't got a yard, you know. I said, well, then I guess I work out of my cell, man, because if, you know, if you guys approve me for this yard, that's my yard. I said, I get to go, man. He says, we're not going to approve you, period, you know. We weren't supposed to let you out from the get-go. You know, we just overlooked your your record. I said, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> you know, whatever. You knew when I got here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know. But then the Carnales came in 83. Beautiful moment, man. Because <laughs> they all had to come from D section into C section, you know, into C section into the yards. So I got to see every one of them, and it was beautiful, Flaco, because, you know, from when they got the first brother, man, I remember it was fucking Weddle from, from Sound Holmes. Come handcuffed, he comes around the corner, and he's yelling, Why you know that Sound Home? Hey, brother, we're here, homie. No te preocupes. And I said, wow, fucking teared up and shit, you know what I'm saying? And he, they all come by. Tibbs, fucking all of them, homes. They all come by. Orale, bueno. Orale, bueno. We'll see you on the yard, homie. We'll see you on the yard. We'll see you on the yard. Coming over. Beautiful fucking moment because they put C section on fucking quiet. Like, oh fuck. There's more like this dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They knew. I mean, you know, they knew NF. Of course they knew, but they didn't know how deep the Norteños were that believed in not being fucking oppressed no more by these putos. You know what I'm saying? By not being told, hey, there's five of you. No more can come out. You can't walk the line with more than five. Don't walk in pairs, man. If we see you walking in pairs, you get hit. Same raza, but not M. You know what I'm saying? It's the M's way. Back then, it was the MS way or fuck you. We're going to hit you. You're going to get hit. Until. Till 85. You know, when. Me. Topo from Modesto. Topo, dark, skinny. Mm -hmm. Modesto. Modesto or they were serious, right? Series, there you go. Series, yeah. Um, Lucky Mendoza, George Mendoza. Mendoza, good dude. Oh, yeah, Smokey Samarron. Well, he turned rat too, but that was actually my blood brother. That's what turned rat on me too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, we all walked out together, homes, ready for war, but it had already been talked, you know, in the that was one of the first what happened in Pelican Bay, but then go through no hunger strike or nothing. It just, you know, everybody talking says, you know, cease fire, no peace, cease fire. You know, let's get our people out of the fucking holes, you know, and that's all it was, you know, just cease fire. Let us get out of the fucking holes and we'll see what happens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was our mentality. Cool, because we know us. You know what I'm saying? We know us. I mean, once the NR came in fact, when we got to, when I got over in 83, I finally got over to the D section. They said, roll up your stuff. You're going over to the D section. I said, yeah, finally, fuck who? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get over to the D section and it's on. The schooling is, oh, the NR comes out, you know, with the format, the introduction to the bonds, you know what I'm saying? And then the bonds, you know? Nobody, nobody sees that no more. Nobody sees the format, the understanding of what the bonds the, were written the introduction. for. It's basically the introduction into what the struggle's about. That's that's what the format was. It was always called format and bonds, but then it just went to the bonds. No, there's an introduction to make you understand why those bonds were written. You know what I'm saying? Why we consider them bandidos. You know, they're just fucking little bugs that get into everybody's fucking business. Mind your own fucking business. You got your own little fucking clique. Mind yours. Stay the fuck out of ours. 
You know what I'm saying? It's never going to end, bro. There's all that hand-holding these brothers are wanting to do in the fucking state. Bullshit. Bullshit. Me, Skip, all these brothers, Carlitos, all these brothers fucking struggled and fought. I got 32 fucking holes in my fucking body, chest, everywhere, bro. And then didn't give up. And didn't fucking give up because I had future brothers coming. I had future brothers coming that I wanted to be able to walk the fucking lines without fucking looking over their fucking back. And you want to fucking hold hands? Really? What the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? That's bullshit, Holmes. We wore too fucking hard, Holmes. We lost brothers. Frankie Gonzalez, Loco de Sanju, two weeks from the fucking house. Scrap walked out and wanted to box on our yards. Frankie took fucking box, got shot in the fucking heart. Held him in fucking while he coughed up blood and died, man. These brothers fought for this fucking turf. So every one of you brothers can walk these fucking lines, man. And you want to hold hands now and say, fuck what Skip's done. Fuck what Wino's done. Fuck what Brown Bob did. Fuck what Tibbs did. Fuck what all these brothers did. Really, bros? Come on, man. Give it a fucking break on that bullshit. Told, did I not tell you, Flanco, that it was a fucking Trojan horse fucking theory? Yes, did I did. not say that, bro? We did it not it. happen? Did it we not did. happen? Did it not make it comfortable enough? Or we got one. Let's start again. That's basically what happened, bro. You got comfortable in the state. You didn't listen to what Skip saying, man. You. You're not listening to what the brother said. He's talking from fucking experience. He's been there, man. He's done that shit. We've done that shit. Why? <laughs> Listen to this, carnal. Chingao. He's not a general for a fucking reason, man. He knows what the fuck he's talking about. Been with that brother since Tracy days. Knew him out on the streets when we were youngsters. Met him when we were youngsters. You know what I'm saying? Been always a stand-up brother. Yes, he's a familiano, but he sports that red. It's all about the norte. You got to understand, he wants you guys to walk these lines without opposition also. Without being a threat of being hit. being Not getting your education. Not getting the fuck out. Think, bros. Think. It's not a kamikaze shit. It's a theory we've always lived by. We want to be able to walk these damn lines without any opposition or threat to us. Period. That's where I'm at with this. If you want to hold hands, then get your asses out on the streets and hold fucking their hands. Not in the pinta. It's not happening, man. And you know that. It's more, That's and, where and, I'm and at like, with that, Flacco. I'm, like, I'm emotional like, about that shit, bro. Yeah, no, and like we discussed, right? It's not even against the Sureños. It's not, it's, Holmes. It's, it's not. It's, it's the M. It's the M. And their seed, the S U R. Back in my time, it was the S U R, Southern United Rasa. You know what I'm saying? They came out with their little fucking what they want to do. Say it's like the NR. You could never be like the NR fools. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, never, never, never. You know. But it's not the Sureños that are our enemy. It is the M and their philosophy of conquering all razas and making them under their guidance. Period. M's way. Period. It's not going to change. It's not. I explained to this Sureño that I worked with in Texas Roadhouse. Both cooks. There was two writers when I got there. They already knew about me because my kids worked there. And they said, don't play that with my dad. I'm telling you. <laughs> He's a real one. <laughs> you know? Don't play that shit. <laughs> and one kept on just looking crazy at me. And I just fucking stopped one day. I said. After work, bro, get it off your chest, outside, off the clock, and here it's green, you know, outside, you want to play that red, no, red, blue, come on, let's play, I'm going to teach you a lesson that I can play it real hard. After that, he quit before I got over to his side, but one stayed, um, 
Lento from Primera Homes. We're actually good friends now. Never spilled our blood. Started listening to me, talking to me, you know, asking me questions. And I said, bro, and one day just out of the blue, I said, Lento, check this out, bro. How can I hate you? Your brothers are my brothers. He said, huh? And I said, how do you how do you think the NF was established, homeboy? By who? I said, Sureños, homes. Sureños. The majority, I think there was one or two from the north at that time when it started. But it was majority Sureño. I said, so how can I hate you, bro? And he kind of looked at me and says, whoa. I've never been talked to like that. I said, just saying. He said, I got OGs, why you know? And they've never told me something like that, you know? And so I started spilling to them, you know? The format, the bonds, little pieces, just boom, boom. I said, this is what we're about. This is what this is about. I said, it ain't about, it ain't about the sword, brother. It's about the MF. They are the vendidos we talk about all the time. They are the bugs within our rasa that don't understand that it ain't, you don't fucking dictate by fear with people, man. You show respect and you get respect. They have no respect for any of us. They have none. It's a hidden agenda. They want, they want Cali, period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're going to do whatever they can to take it. So I tell this brother, Lento Holmes, I tell him, check this out, brother. I said, do you know how you brothers from out of state are treated? You're the new northerns. I said, you're the new northerns. You're the little front lines. Send the motherfucking out of staters. I said, he says, you know what? And so he investigated. He started going on YouTube. He says, fuck, you're right, bro. All the out of staters are fucking shit to them. I said, <laughs> of course. I said, most of you are from down north. I said, you guys in Utah, you guys are non-existent in their minds. Homes. You're just a piece of the puzzle to them. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. That's what you guys don't understand. I woke this brother up to seeing everything because I didn't bullshit with him. I don't, I'm, I'm out front, Flaco. I'm very out front yeah, about no, my shit. Talking, you know what I'm saying? I'm very out front well, about my shit. You know? question. Do, you think, do you think that the guys in the state have pretty much put money and other things before the, the, you know, the whole core of what this was all about? What's that? Do you think like the state sees, right? That, the, you know, that they put money basically before fucking the welfare of every soldado and, and the, basically the, the cause and struggle? Oh, yeah. Always, Holmes. Have. Always. You know what I'm saying? Always. Still exists. So I mean, come on. You know, it's always going to do that, be like that, bro. You know, we got to. I mean, them and us but what people don't what these young brothers don't understand is what we did and now they want to say well you know we're making money you know it's <laughs> come on guys let's have peace you know we're making money you know let's do it can't bro because before you know it you're paying the emmy to sling your shit to do your shit there because that's the way they are that's the way they are it's cool sense man especially like i got a lot of backslash about a lot of um backlash for, for telling the truth i'm like you're never supposed to let the other group ever touch one of your map powers not even one time because the minute you let one go by you're gonna see the next and the next and the next and they already know that they got you in pocket that they're gonna check it out Blanco, you were there and i were there if an enemy fucks up you take it to their chain of command no matter what and they yes. deal with theirs we deal with ours why would did they deal with ours come on <laughs> prison politics brother you don't deal with your fucking enemy if he fucked up we deal with him you don't take it in your own hands unless unless someone gave that green light to go ahead unless that's treason. and that's treason right there you know what I'm saying? You and know? that and that's what I'm starting to hear. Like, you know, what you're in the hip pocket. What the fuck? <laughs> you, know? you know, so if you're working together with the enemy, bro, yeah, come on. Die. You know, 
I've, I've said that. I know, things I know things change, right? And, and I'm all for letting the Norteños and Sureños being on the lines together. I'm okay with that. Norteños and Sureños. Don't get me wrong, bro. If you've spilled blood, no, you ain't got that line coming. Yeah. In my eyes. In my heart. I got 32 holes why I feel that way. If you spilt our blood, you're not walking the line with us. Period. Because then you're a threat. I have to look over my back. I don't yeah. want to look over my back. Period. I mean, that's why, that's why we were always told, right, to respect our enemies, but don't become over-familiarized with them. Don't start no type of friendship or anything to where, like, they allow certain things to go a little bit too far to where they got too comfortable and they got over-familiarized with a group, like I said, it's in their nature. You know what I'm saying? Let the MA do the MA and, and let the Sudanians do the Sudanians. If they want to ride under the, the MA's bandana, that's on them. That's on them, homes. If the other bullshit alone, you know, you, you preach the wrong thing. If you know all that propaganda, you know, I listen to the propaganda and I've heard it all, and then I'm saying, you know, do you really listen to the propaganda? Because the M is telling you, do what we say. Or you and your family die. <laughs> That's what they're telling you guys. You know, uh, I got out when I got out of Pelican Bay. When I got out of Pelican Bay, I got out with two supposedly SUR members. And in R and R, they're already tripping on and saying, "Bro, we're getting out. Don't trip. I'll buy you a drink right now." <laughs> I tell them that, you know. So we get to Sacramento, homes. And you can see they're talking. So I get up from my seat. I'm saying, am I going to have to trip on you guys? I said, because if so, we can deal with it fucking right now. I said, I said, I'm free after 17 fucking years. You want to play that bullshit right now, bro, while we're free? I said, give me a fucking break. I need some pussy. I need a drink. I need a joint, man. I said, you want to fuck that off, Holmes, and get me put in jail right this second? Puto on a bus? I said, let's do it. <laughs> and they stopped and they said, <clears throat> And I said, I ain't fucking bullshitting. You know, I know the song for homes. I hate fucking that man, sure. <laughs> and they said, I said, and I said, excuse me, S U R, Holmes. I said, I don't like, I don't hate all Sorenos. And dude from Riverside tells me, hey, Holmes, you know, we would just want to go home too. I said, then don't fucking sit there and dog and talk shit, Holmes, because I'll slap you. I mean, no, period, homie. I said, period. I said, we can be friends. We'll get off in Sacramento. I said, in my area. I said, I'll buy you a drink. Make sure nobody fucks you. Don't trip, man. I said, I'll teach you how a Norteño really does it. He said, have you partied with us? And he says, never really talked to you dudes. <laughs> you know? That's all he told me. He said, never really even talked to you dudes. You know? I said, all right, get to Sacramento. I'll show you a little bit, puto. <laughs> you know? Just tell him like that, you know? So we get to Sacramento. And I get him fucking buzzed up. Homeboy meets me and gives me some weed, homes, you know? And I tell him, and he says, so you want to dust them, homie? <laughs> and I said, no, nah, let me get home. We just all got out, bro. Fuck that stupid shit, homes. You know, they're stupid as you are, homes. They're fucking puppets, homes, you know? So don't trip. And he says, all right, homie, fucking wino, man. You're going to fucking get them fucked up and beat them up, huh, homes? I said, no, bro, I'm going to let them get on their way, bro. You know, I'm, I just want them to understand that we ain't as bad as these putos put that image of us, homes. So I get them all fucked up. We get to San Francisco home, so I'm going all the way to San Jose. So we get to San Francisco, and they get off the bus. They have to transfer to the Los Angeles bus. I go to the San Jose bus, you know. They kind of both look at me, and they said, hey, bro, check this out, Holmes. Never kicked it with you, Bartos. He said, you're pretty fucking feed me, Holmes. He said, I don't see no difference. I said, uh, you mean we ain't fucking dirty farmers, me? <laughs> He said, shyly, homie. <laughs> you know? And he laughed because he knew that's the fucking one of the propaganda. They're just dirty little fucking farmers, you know. You you was a card that time, right? He says, You kick it, you know, you know the language. You know, I was kicking it in Spanish with me. He says, You know the language and everything, Holmes. He says, We're no different, Holmes. I said, I know, bro. I know. <laughs> you know? So that's why, you know, I preach not all sureños are scrapes. There's those ones that understand our cause, that understand that oppression, that feel that oppression, like we felt in the 80s and says, no more, man. That's it. This is our time. Every chance we get, we're going to war, putos. Every fucking time. I remember 
it was the fuck was it? He was from Modesto Homes. Um, he was the tier tender downstairs. I was I was a tier tender on the third tier. That's the Carnales. We were on the third tier. And all of a sudden, ruckus happens and fucking su to Sureño. Oh no, homeboy was walking down in chains in handcuffs. These two Sureño fucking. It was the Sureños day. That's right. They fucking. They rushed homeboy homes, fucking got him, but the guards were all down on him and shit. But so they didn't get nothing, you know. I just said, oh, okay, it's like that, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, we went to war homes. It was they called they called D section homes in 1983 homes, little Vietnam because we was fucking warring homes. I mean, we was fucking warring homes. I mean, it was bad. It was whew, <laughs> PTSD shit, homes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, wake up, I still wake up. You know, that's why I'm so emotional about that shit, Flux. It's, I wake up still with them fucking, you know, I mean, I was booked two different times, man, by these dudes, you know, once in Tracy. Once in a C-section yard, man. Never gave up because I said, "You didn't kill me, man. You fucked up." You did, you, did you ever get to book? Did you ever get to book any of the MMA cats or no? Huh? Did you ever get to stab any of the MMA cats or no? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got Popeye. I got Popeye. I got Popeye. <laughs> he might have made his bones, but he regretted them after I got him home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't going to talk about none of that, Holmes, you know, because yeah. I did. You did what you I'll do. put it this way. I remember the day Tibbs, ta Tibbs sat me down and he says, check this out, youngster. Stop fucking volunteering for everything. I was an angry youngster, Holmes. So I had a lot of anger. So I was, give me the knife. Give me the knife. Give me the knife. <laughs> you know, did about. Not doing none of that because I'm not into that. I'm not a sundown yeah, yeah. kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I took care of my business where Tib sat me down and said, stop volunteering. Next time you volunteer, we're going to hit you. That was Tib's words to me. And I said, what? He says, we know you're down. We know you'll pick it up in a second. There's too many youngsters here that ain't done shit, man. Stop yeah. it. Because you know and I know, once you volunteer, they can't say, no, I know you can't do it. <laughs> you know I'm saying? You're volunteering, so fucking whining, you know? And I was like that, you know, like the story I told you about fucking dancing bear. Oh, nasty motherfucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I know you don't want to talk about anything personal, so what I want you to do is... You know, in light of the situation up in Pelican Bay, what happened to this homeboy? He was a believer, believe it or not. You know the story about him, right? He, uh, Who? Uh, his name was a believer, right? The, the, the homeboy that, that got stabbed and died in Pelican Bay, right? He was a black homeboy. Okay. See, I keep seeing this. Yeah. So what? That he was a black Nortenio. We've had black Nortenio. <laughs> you North seen Korea. my pictures, Holmes? You seen my pictures from back yeah, in the... No. Huh? Keller has nothing to do with it, I'm trying to tell people. He's a North Daniel. What the fuck? If you if you understand our bonds. Bond, yeah, bond number two. If you understand that concept of us, us from that era, it says any and all razas worthy of our cause. Anybody. Should I say that again, Flux? No, clear as day. You know what I'm saying? You can't understand that. We had whites. Oh, look at Flacco. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We had whites. I mean, motherfuckers from San Leandro, you know, and shit like that. Fresno. Motherfuckers were beautiful tree. <laughs> fucking tree a tree from uh sacra you know palo i don't know if you ever met him or heard of him palo from sacra the one that died yeah 
Tall, lanky motherfucker. Fucking my bro to the fucking T. We used to walk, and you figure me, I'm 5'6", Holmes. Fucking Pablo's about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, <laughs> we walk in the line together and shit. I was like, yeah, fuck you, putos. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, so it broke my heart when he died. That was another white brother. This is what I mean about any and all razas. Because I remember the day he was pulled in. He used to hang with us. He had that fucking heart. Fuck these sureños. Fuck these MS. And we used to tell him, it's, it's not that. So that knows you're after on boy. Not all these motherfuckers. Some of them might be your fucking allies. Shut up. It's the end, man. You know? Fuck these end, man. He'd be yelling out in tears. You know, he just wanted to. But he always backed his shit up. He'd went, walk out to the yard. Bang a motherfucker. Fuck you, puto. Boom, boom, boom. And throw a red rag down and say, puto norte, puto. <laughs> you know? Couldn't speak it at all, but he'd always say that. Boy Galvez, big black dude in my picture. One of my pictures I sent you. You'll see him tall, taller than everybody, bald, black, like a mother. That brother says, When I came to the join, it was just my instinct to come to you, brothers, because I knew you all from the streets. I hung out with you, brothers, on the streets. So why would I go hang out with? My people, when I believed in what you guys believe in. Said, yep. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand when people preach these bonds in format like me, they see it, bro. They see it. If you're a fucking fake and just going through the motions and saying, okay, bond number one, let me do it by rote to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, yeah. It's, it's got to be in your heart, bro. It's. I'm 62, bro. I'm on my last era, you know what I'm saying? But I've made it. Shunt up twice, you know? But I've made it, you know what I'm saying? Hobo, Fig. I remember when Fig came out to the line in, in 85, Holmes. It was a fuck. Everybody kind of, we knew he was due to come out, but they just kind of popped him out, you know? And we're coming up from the upper yard and they're saying, why no, why no, why no? Whoa, <laughs> you know, I'm saying, what, bro? You know, I'm security on the fucking for the Norteños there because that carnal that's supposed to be out there is up in a cell. We ain't seen him for a month and a half. He's getting tacked back. <laughs> don't know what the fuck's happening with him, you know. Homeboy, carnal from Fresno. I don't remember his name because he was in Sinek insignificant to me man you know he didn't care about nothing but yeah his body before he went back to the, the hole went out to the yard huh huh never came to the yard homes never never, never never not while i was there and i got transferred out to what opened to hatchipy and they sent me but they, they popped about there you said you said they popped a oh, uh, big out there huh? oh yeah anyway yeah big comes out homes and I see him squatted by the up yard, by our yard, D section yard, but behind the the steel the steel plate and whatever they had on that fucking thing to separate the yard. But he was squatted right there on the upper yard. And I walk and I just kind of sit. And I said, "Whoa, <laughs> this is fucking big." I mean, you know, I knew him from the hole. I was tear tenders, you know. One day it would be me, one day it would be uh, crackers, one day it would be a white, one day it would be a black, you know what I'm saying? It was just like that. And, you know, so it was, you know, don't fuck with us. I remember, you know, anyway, Fig. So I swing back and I see him. I say, hey, Fig, don't trip, homie. Don't trip. Ask him if he remembers this, homes. Tell him, don't trip, bro. It's all good, man. I said, I'll stay away. And just kept walking, you know. And I kind of seen him. He kind, I think he kind of finally just kind of relaxed, like, oh, they're not gonna book me. Why, man? I never got because I got transferred right after that. I don't know what happened after that. I know there was no word on him 
we didn't get no word to book big or nothing. Leave him alone. Let him do his thing. When I was there, you know, just let him do his thing. He ain't a threat to nobody, man. You know, so yeah, politics. that was the word. That was the politics from coming from our side. Say, don't fuck with figs. You know, he's cool. You know, he never done nothing wrong, you know. So, so I don't know what happened after that. I've always wanted to sit down with him and say, Why'd you trip, bro? Why'd you come out trip? Anytime I talk to him, he's gladly why no. Mucho respeto, you know. Never had nothing. So why would I why would I set it off on him when he came out? I'm not trying to do that. He should have known what we were establishing. Just as because he's so fucking smart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like, you know. But that that was big. Sure he watches this video too. I'm gonna say, hey, big, you gotta watch this video. Yeah, nothing, nothing ever came as far as I know. When I left at Tehachapi, nothing had happened to him. He was supposed to be cool on that line. I don't know what happened ever, ever after. I always wanted to see, you know, because I always wanted to sit down with him because he was old school before me, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was old school before me, fucking back in the day when they was. Killing Cheyenne and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's shit I used to talk to with, you know, Chino Ray, you know, from Chino. He was from Chino, homes. Chino Ray Hernandez, beautiful, mm -hmm. big old fucking brush, man. He'd get crazy and dr we'd drink Pruno and he'd just start spilling his old stories, man. I'd just used to stay at the bars and just listen, man, you know, because Chino Ray just used to tell some beautiful stories. And I asked him one day, I said, so let me ask you, bro. He says, I tell him, NF's predominantly north now. And he says, yeah. <laughs> that was him all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I said, but you're from Chino. I said, yeah. I understand Chino Sinner. I said, I knew some of your brothers. I warred with them, man. He says, yeah. <laughs> he says, let me tell you why, Wayne. He says, why I joined. DNF. This is Chino Ray Hernandez. He was probably 25 years older than me, bro. You know what I'm saying? He had been through the fucking war when it said, yeah, we're going to make our name. Putos fuck you. He was there with all that shit. So he tells me, let me tell you this, Wayman. He said, I got offered to be a man. He says, but I was one of them fucking youngsters that just sat back and watched homes. He says, I was from Chino, homeboy. Mas farmland que la chingada. <laughs> he said, I knew I would be accepted, homes. I knew that, homes. Just by watching the way they functioned. If you lived out of Los Angeles County, homeboy, you didn't have shit coming from these dudes, homes. Mm -hmm. They take your money. They take your fucking drugs. They take everything from you and say it's payment. He says, that's the way we lived if we weren't M.A. He says, I didn't want to live that way, bro. He says, so when, when death row and them came at me, Holmes, you know, he says, yeah, man, this is what it's about. This is what it's supposed to be about, helping all them Ransas fucking walk these lines free without any being threat of being charged rent being you know and shit like that with the emmy we're doing yeah if you're not emmy you're gonna pay rent to us you chicano fuck you <laughs> that's what they were doing bro if you weren't fucking emmy they were charging you rent to live in the pintas yeah i know you know what i'm saying oh boy yeah. and people, don't want to, people don't realize the shit i mean i remember them, them trying to tell me i was gonna have to uh, cut my hair these are these are i mean these are dudes you're talking about that you want to go hold hands with them after Skip, Wino, Loco, Pancho, you know, all those brothers, huh? Bled and fought and struggled. You really want to stop what we truly believed in, what we fought for, for you youngsters that are now coming into the Pinta, that are now in the Pintas. We bled. We bled our ass off. But because we believed in what we've seen in the future, we do not want to go back to that past. 
Blanco, where mm -hmm. we were only allowed five out at a time. Yeah. Don't group up, man, because if you, there's two of you walking, we're going to think you're plotting something and we're going to kill you both. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the theory you want to go back to, guys? Come on. Be real, my brothers. It comes down to self-pride. Si eres norteño, levanta la pinche lucha. All that bullshit, homes. Save that, man. For the streets, like I said, you want to preach that bullshit, go to the streets and try to walk with them, man. They'll shoot you in the fucking back. So, you know, you want to play that fucking peace shit? You want to hold their fucking hands? Understand the repercussions of going about what we believe in. We, as older dudes, will not stop the struggle. So remember that. You know, we will not stop the struggle. We'll always remember. We have nothing else in the pinta to do but remember all the bullshit. So think about okay. that. Any final words besides that? Because I think you, I think you can end this perfectly like that, man. Not, not at all, brother. You know, fight on, man. Don't, don't lay down. That's straight up, man. Come on, guys. You know, don't lay down, man. Don't get up on these motherfuckers. Remember what we did, and remember what I always feel. I love you, brothers. I'll always, I'll die. 100%. Not Daniel. Too much fucking death, man. Don't do this in fucking vain. Don't let all we've done go in vain, man. Seriously. Love you, Flux. All right, brother. Much love, man. Much respect to those that paved the way for you guys, man. Don't forget that, man. I never, I don't forget where I come from. Never, homeboy. Just because never. we have some banditos that kind of force some people's hands, it doesn't stop where you come from, man. People can say what they want, think what they want. It doesn't change it's shit. And it's all about the Niners, brother. Oh, shit. There you go. All right, brother. Have a good one, homie. <laughs> uh, I've been since 68, homie. You know, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs>